Hi again to those of you watching the games in New England and in Buffalo. We'll start here by recapping the finals from the games that began at 1 Eastern time. In Chicago, the Bears were trying to shake off the six-game losing streak that ended last season. During that stretch, Mike Ditka's team yielded an average of 32 points per game. Today, the defense was on the beam, and the offense was good enough. Jim Harbaugh long for Neil Anderson. A beautiful catch. He stays in bounds. He also had two TDs on the ground. Seahawks limited to six first downs. Bears win 17-0. Moving on, there's Don Mikowski. He signed this week, but not ready to play. So who's his replacement? Anthony Dilweg. He throws for three touchdowns, including his 47-yarder to Jeff Query. And Green Bay upsets the Rams. The Rams were a slim favorite, even though it was at Lambeau. 36 to 24 is the score there. Was it hot at Arrowhead? 130 degrees on the AstroTurf. But Kansas City was even hotter. Late in the game, it's Christian Okoye. He went for 92 yards rushing. These two were the most important. 24-21, the Chiefs over the Vikings. First time they've met in a game that meant anything since 1981. Andre the Heisman Trophy winner on the inactive list for the Detroit Lions. He watches another former Heisman winner, Vinny Testaverde of the Bucks, throw three touchdown passes, including this 19-yarder to Gary Anderson. Tampa Bay cashes in on six Lion turnovers, 38-21 the final. Joe Bugle, unhappy homecoming to RFK Stadium, where he used to be a Joe Gibbs assistant. His Phoenix Cardinals stunk the joint out. Here's Alvin Walton with the interception. One of four picked off against Tim Rosenball. Five Phoenix turnovers, all told. Three Mark Rippon touchdown passes for the Redskins. They romp. 31 to nothing. Now, quickly through the scores of games that are in progress. Pittsburgh is leading at Cleveland. The score there is 3 to nothing. They're in the second quarter. Denver and the Raiders on a pair of David Treadwell field goals in the first half at the Coliseum. The uh, Broncos lead at 6 to nothing. They've gone to halftime in that one. There's a great story being written right now at Fulton County Stadium in Atlanta. It's Jerry Glanville's debut before a packed house against his old team, the Oilers. The first three times Houston had the ball, Atlanta with a swarming defense forced fumbles. The first one set up a touchdown. The other two were returned for touchdowns by Bobby Butler and Jesse Tuggle. Even in his fondest dreams, Jerry Glanville couldn't have hoped for this. 27-0 Fulton County Stadium is rocking. The Jets get a 46-yard touchdown pass from Ken O'Brien to Al Toon. Then moments later, Pat Leahy with a field goal. They go to halftime at Riverfront leading the Bengals 10-3. Buffalo in the game. Some of you are watching. Jim Kelly with a touchdown pass. Scott Norwood with three field goals. 16-3 over the Eric Dickersonless Indianapolis Colts. Miami playing at New England. Dan Marino just 5-8 and eight in his career against the Patriots, and he and his mates trail here at the half. The score 21-13, the 16-year veteran Steve Grogan with a pair of touchdown passes before intermission. And San Diego leading at Dallas by a score of 14-7. The Cowboys have lost 26 of their last 28 games, and we're back to the game you're watching following these messages from your local stations.